Hey everybody, it's Gary here from Nintendo Dads and join with Phil Myth from... Where's that again, Phil? Nintendo Village. Nintendo <laughs> Village, which I'm also part of, so, you know, we're, we're all one big well, happy well family. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we both got a chance to play a game called Wargroove, which has been on a lot of people's radars, really. Yeah. It got announced in one of the Nintendo Directs and then disappeared. It did for a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it disappeared for a little bit. So it has been making appearances in gaming events here, there and everywhere, but not on Switch, which is the weird part about that. It's been turning up on Xbox and stuff and PC, but this time it was there playable on everything, so yeah. you get to play on Switch. Really so, uh, what are your first impressions of um, Wargroove? Uh, it's Advance Wars. Yep. And I'm, that's in the best possible way. Uh, like, right down to things like CO powers uh, and all the uh, unit variations and all the rest of it. And it's something... It's weird, I've not really thought about Advance Wars a lot, but as soon as Wargroove showed up, it's like, oh yeah, I missed that franchise. And then playing it, it's like, yeah, I really missed that franchise. Like, and it really, really scratches that itch. Yeah, even straight down to as soon as you look at one of the maps, they look yeah, like Advance Wars, like, but except really clean. There's like such like detail to the animations in there. Like Even down to you can see the wind blowing through yeah. the grass and ripples in the water and stuff like that. So there's a lot of detail in the graphics. But like you said, they, 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 it runs parallel with um, Advance Wars really well and even down to like you said the units when you're going to purchase a new unit on it they're even in the same order yeah <laughs> so there they are it is really close to Advance Wars yeah. isn't it yeah uh, it was, no it was really cool um, and and again there's there's all of that depth in there because we've seen similar strategy games come out on Switch recently and uh, there was that Tiny Metal which was the sort of 3D uh, style one um, but it kind of lacked the depth that Advance Wars always had uh, and that depth is definitely there with Wargroove. Um, when you're creating new units, you know, uh, there's a list of all, of all the units that it's that strong against, weak against. Um, you have air units and ground units and then uh, different ones that can fire like ground to air and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then just at some of the mechanics in the game, like we were chatting to the devs, uh, and there's weather cycles and things that will affect, so if the wind picks up then uh, ships with sails will get uh, added movement squares and all these little tweaks like that um, take a, a, a sort of a formula that was on the Game Boy Advance, not a particularly advanced console, <laughs> despite the name, uh, and it really utilises that extra horsepower that the Switch has got and just tweaks it and refines it and, and just makes it, you know, it brings it into the sort of the modern day scene if you like. Yeah, we, they were talking about all the other features that are going to be on it, so uh, we didn't hear much about online play, but we got a little bit of uh, conversation going about that, mm -hmm. and um, they've, they've gone out all out with the online play, so <laughs> it, as well as playing like live, so say I'm at home, Phil's at his house, and we're playing over the internet, um, I can do my move, then it's Phil's turn, he does his move, and then I don't have to do my move until a week later. And I and sit there all alone, twiddling <laughs> my thumbs, yeah. wondering, Gary, when are you going to do your move? <laughs> and so you can go back and forth, so even though these games can be long, yeah. they've, they've found a way to, to sort of cater to that online, which yeah. is clever, really clever. Yeah, it's the 21st century version of playing chess by post. Yeah, and I mean, uh, the, you know, the, in terms of strategy as well, it's, it looks like it's more, a lot more in-depth than Advance Wars as well. For instance, not just having units that are stronger against other units, but they also have added things like that unit, if it's adjacent to another unit of a certain type, then they'll yeah. get a critical hit bonus, yeah. stuff like that. So it's going to be really tactical. Yeah, and it's really challenging as well. Yeah. Like I played, so there was three uh, variations uh, available for us to play in the demo. Uh, there is a solo uh, mode, uh, uh, two versus, so two people on the same team against the computer, and a one versus one. And I lost all three. Although the the one versus one, we call it a wash. Yeah. Because it went over time. Yeah. The it, demo time there. It, was it did. Time there, yeah. um, I had Gary right where I wanted him when he was like massively outnumbered me and really overpowered and I was just about to strike and <laughs> fortunately I lost the opportunity. So yeah, I mean overall impressions. And fantastic! I can't wait for it. It, it was one of my most anticipated games this year, uh, and that hasn't changed. Yeah, and I think uh, for EGX, the event where we played it, I think it was my game of the show. Yeah. So, yeah, look forward to it and definitely keep an eye out. So, thank you very much and we'll catch you next time.